so this is the first session we have so today my agenda is we are just going to discuss about the course content all the details that we are going to cover how we are going to cover what will be the roadmap so we are going to discuss each and everything So first of all, uh, few people are new. So for them, like first of all, my name is Santosh Chaudhary. I have more than 15 plus year of experience, and my entire experience, it is based on RPA, it's based on data science, it's on the .NET technology. It's about the databases like SQL Server, like Oracle. So these are my area of expertise that I'm working for. Because I'm working as a technical specialist. So we need to assist the multiple teams. So these are the area that I'm working for. At present, I'm working with this RPA and with data science, data science team. This particular session that we are going to start with. This session is it's about the data science and BI. Try to understand when I'm talking about the data science. As a data science, like in the data science, we have the three different opportunities are there. We can work as a data engineer. The role and responsibility of the data engineer is to collect the data. You need to collect the data. How you are going to collect the data is your responsibility. You are going to apply the scrapping or you are going to write the code for that. You are going to apply the Python script. You are going to apply some other tools over there. Basically your target is just to collect the data. It can be from SQL database. It can be from the NoSQL database. It can be from the web or it can be any source. Your main agenda will be you need to collect the data. And it's not only the collect the data, you need to apply the filter, you need to filter the data, you need to basically it's all about the data that you need to deal with. To be a data engineer, to be a data engineer, what a skill set is required? You require the Python. You must have the good knowledge with the Python, the Python libraries. You require the NumPy. You require the Pandas. And should have the good knowledge with the SQL as well as the NoSQL. Number one. Number two, the profile is data analyst. To be a data analyst, to be a data analyst, Along with these all profile, along with these all profile, you should have the good knowledge with the visualization tool, the BI tool. And for that purpose, we are going to learn about the Power BI and the Tableau. You need to represent the data. Once your data is going to be ready, once your data is going to be ready, what we need to do? We need to represent the data in the proper formatted way so the management can understand the things or the top management is going to understand all the things. So to be a data analyst, here we are going to analyze the data. Analyzing the data means what? What is the current scenario? How the company is going on? What was the production in 2023? What was the production in 2022? What is the current status and all? So this is the role and responsibility of the data analyst. So definitely to be a data analyst, you should have the good knowledge with all of this, plus especially the Power BI in the tab. And the third one is, it's about the data scientist. Data scientist. For the data scientist, along with all these things, you need to be have the good understanding with the ML and DL, machine learning and deep learning. 
for the machine learning and deep learning we have the separate course we have the separate course for that in this particular course we are not going to cover this now you can ask me the questions on those why you are not going to cover this particular things over there the reason is the reason is to be a data scientist you need to put some extra efforts and directly no one is going to give you the role of data scientist you are going to get some experience with the data engineer you are going to gain some experience about the data analyst and after that only you are going to be the data scientist if you have the good knowledge with all these stuff and for this particular stuff you need to give some extra time it's required some more attentions from your side so better our entire course is going to cover these two courses the data engineer and to be a data analyst what are the content is required i am going to provide all these things got it and i am telling you lot of time i am getting the customized requirement from the candidates maximum of the time people are asking me about these things it's about the python it's about the python it's about the numpy pandas and sql that's it and people are getting the good job using the python numpy pandas and sql but maximum of the time like it's going to be good for you like if you have the skill set like the power bi the tableau all these things are there with you your scope and everything is going to be increased so our entire course is organized in this way initially we are going to learn about the python under the python we are going to learn about the core portions of the python see normally when i am talking about any things any technology people are going to discuss with me like lot of advanced topics and all they are talking about 90% of the time your interview is get rejected in the core portion only 90% of the time once you are going to give the interviews your selection or rejection get decided at the initial stage of the interviews i am going to ask you some basic questions in the python and you are not able to give the answer what you think i am going to ask you the question from this only no i am not going it's not required then unnecessary the time pass will be there i am going to put some unnecessary questions over there because i already make up my mind like i am not going to select you because if you don't have the knowledge with the core portion why i am going to expect you from the advanced portions and uh, all about this so initially we are going to learn about the core and we are going to learn everything in the core we are going to learn all the basics we are going to learn about the list tuple set dictionaries string exception handling we are going to learn everything over there the file handling after this we are going to learn about the advanced under the advanced we are going to learn about the entire oops concept abstraction encapsulation polymorphism inheritance overloading overriding abstract class we are going to learn all about this after that we are going to learn about the database connectivity how you are going to integrate the python with the database it can be the sqlite it can be the oracle it can be the sql server it can be the mongodb how we are going to make the connections between them and after that python we are going to start with the numpy numpy is basically the numeric python python is the language that we are using numpy is basically the numeric python it's all about the array how we are going to handle the array that's about the numpy how we are going to work with the row and column after this numpy we are going to learn about the pandas these are basically the python library we are going to learn about the pandas pandas is all about how you are going to work with the data frame how you are go going to work with the data frame under the data frame like how we are going to manipulate the excel data and all so we are going to learn about the pandas pandas is really important really important to be a data analyst or to be a data engineer in the pandas we are going to implement all the concept of the sql we are going to implement the concept of set operator we are going to implement the concept of join all those sql concept that we are reading over there that practically we are going to implement in the pandas also in pandas we need to apply the inner join the outer join we are going to apply the union we are going to apply the intersection we are going to apply the merge we are going to apply the concatenate so we are going to do all these things with the pandas we are going to apply the aggregate functions everything we are going to apply with the pandas 
so pandas is all about the data frame before this numpy and pandas we are going to learn about the sql because the same sql concept we are going to apply it over here so we are going to learn about the sql under the sql we are going to learn about the oracle sql oracle is the market leader in the database under this oracle sql what we are going to learn our focus will be on the select statement how to apply the select statement how we are going to apply the group by the aggregate functions how we are going to apply order by how we are going to apply the where we are just going to learn about the joins we are going to learn about the set operators we are going to learn about the sub queries and we are going to learn about the procedure how we are going to create the stored procedure stored function we are going to learn about the package so here we are just going to learn this so many topics are there i am just going to cover only those topic that is required for you in the interviews or even at the work location so we are going to cover that sql portion over there and after this we are going to learn about the no sql database also nowadays it might be the company they are not using the no sql but nowadays this is the fashion like if you are going for the interviews na along with the sql they are always going to ask you about the no sql so we are also going to learn about the no sql database and in the no sql so many databases are there we are just going to learn about the most popular database it's about the mongodb because the same mongodb we are going to implement with the database connectivity also the same sql command we are going to implement with the database connectivity also so before the database connectivity we are going to complete this also sql and no sql and after this we are going to learn about the tableau initially we are going to learn about the tableau because once you get started with the power bi you are not going to learn about the tableau because power bi is more more attractive it's more graphical visually it's more sound in compared to tableau but some of the company they are using the tableau some of the company they are using the power bi basically power bi is the etl tool definitely it's going to be visualize the data it's the visualization tool along with the visualization tool power bi is basically the etl tool here we can write the dex queries and all it's about the extraction transformation and loading the data it's going to extract the data it's going to transform the data it's going to change the data and it's going to load the data so we are just going to learn about the tableau initially and after that we are going to learn about the power bi power bi after this we are going to work with one project that project that we are going to work on that project is going to consider all these things you are going to prepare the data as a data engineer you are going to prepare the data once your data is going to be prepared you need to display the data in the visualization format so that project include the complete cycle like as a data scientist what as a data analyst what you need to do you need to collect the data you are going to collect the data from the different sources then you need to assemble the data and finally we are going to visualize the data in the tableau or in the power bi so this is the entire course content we have and we are going to cover all these course content it's in 2 months it will takes around 2 months so i am i cannot say like it's only the 2 month might be we have the required we required the two extra session or four extra session over there it might be there so but the target is like it's going to be get completed within the 2 months and we have the saturday and sunday session only and saturday and sunday session only it's a weekend session and every session is going to be for 2 hour but honestly speaking in my entire life i never believe with this hours this is the more frustrating things we have like 2 hour 3 hours only the thing is that we are going to start with the content wise suppose my content was like my today my agenda was uh, we are going to learn about the list tuple set dictionaries once the content get completed and now suppose i am thinking like now it's going to be bouncer for you then i am going to stop the session i am not going to take the session just to make the session complete i am going to take the session just so that you people can complete that particular topic so that's why i am telling you it's a 2 hour but suppose after 1 hour after 1 and 1/2 hour if we are thinking like now it's enough for today we are going to stop that session immediately because no use of that i am going to overburden you because everyone having some lot of things you people need to do lot of things you need to take care so i don't need to make it like overburden for you 
got my point so this is how we are going to do all this so this is the course content we have after every session you people are going to get the recording you are going to get the recording and the notes will be there so this is the entire from my side like what we are going to cover and how we are going to start the things what will be the agenda and i also discuss about the course content that what we are going to cover over there anyone having any questions now anyone having any questions please yes please anyone having any questions so yeah. the power bi we are going to use uh, is that will be our 14 days trial version because might be we have to do some project and uh, we yeah, need yeah it's going to be the trial okay. version see with that software licensing part we cannot do anything so what the limitations will be there we are going to what we can do like uh, we are, that limitation also going to implement with us because with that limitation we cannot do anything so we need to utilize that time wisely over there and we are going to do that yeah okay uh, we can uh, we can install tableau public na that is quite free yeah yeah perfect perfect that's why see basically what happened na some of the company like you if you are going for the interviews and they are going to ask you about the tableau someone is going to ask you about the power bi then is going to create the problem like you are going to consider oh i know the tableau i don't have the power bi so it's going to create the problem so i don't want to make the things like that so power bi and tableau other tool is also there like people are using altrix but altrix is still has to popular these are the popular tool that people are using that's why we are going to include this in our course content okay sir what i am trying to say this is the complete package number 1 number 2 this is the kind of course it's going to stay in the market i'm not going to tell you like it's going to be the future no it's a present and it's a future right now it's happening company they are looking for i am telling you even in this recession time people are getting too much hype with the data science and data analyst data engineer people are getting handsome salary so it's not the, like the future it's basically in the present plus its future so this is the complete power package we have and we are going to learn each and everything properly after every session you people are going to get the recording and notes everything will be there you just need to complete the things i will create a separate whatsapp group you just need to complete the things at your end and you are going to get everything from you just need to complete the recording session by session and good thing about the entire course is it's a weekend so only the two day session will be there so you are going to get the seven days over there to complete the entire things so that's the good thing like we are not in hurry we don't need to make the things complete i can complete the entire course in two days also or three days also we can do that but it's not going to be useful so it's only going to be useful if you are going to like do the things properly because every technology deserves some respect you need to give some time and technology is the kind of thing that we don't need to learn we need to digest the technology and how you are going to digest the technology if multiple time you are going to open that you are going to close that you are going to install you are going to uninstall you are going to make some error you are going to correct the error then you are going to digest the things got the point Yeah. Anyone having any questions, please? Yeah. Sir, in Afros. Sir, in SQL, uh, we which topics we are going to learn here, uh, like uh, uh, joins, index, uh, those things. See, I mean, in the SQL, we are going to learn about the join. We are going to learn about the sub queries. Entire SQL, the most important thing is the join and sub queries. from the data engineer point of view from the data analyst point of view the most important thing is the join and sub queries so we are going to learn about the join we are going to learn about the sub queries we are going to learn about the analytical functions all those things will be there and we are also going to learn about the pl sql portion over there like we are going to learn about the procedure we are going to learn about the package we are going to learn about the functions and also we are also going to so it's going to be the complete from this point of view 
got it. Yeah, anyone having any questions, please? Okay, so this was my first, like, uh, it was about the entire course content and everything was there. This was the first session. Some other people are also in the queue. They are going to join the session. So we are going to uh, start the session, the first session that we are going to start it. We are going to start this session tomorrow. Okay? The first session we are going to start it from tomorrow. There I am not going to discuss anything about the course content, all the details and all. We are just going to start learning the Python. We are just going to start learning the Python. It's fine. So tomorrow we have the first session. Today my agenda was you should be familiar with the things that we are going to start with. What will be the roadmap? What are the things we are going to cover? Tomorrow we have the first session and we are going to start the session with the Python. So we are going to learn about the Python, installation of the software, how to write the code in the Python, and we are going to start with the Python, the core portions of the Python. Now. It's fine. Sir, uh, are we going to get a certificate after this training? If you require, I can provide you the certification, certificate, but there is no use of that, any kind of certificate. Sir, I know that is not an use, but just for... If you require, I can provide you the certificate, whatever the certificate you require. But okay. <laughs> honestly speaking, no one is going to ask you about the certifications and all. No use yeah. of that. If you are going to be Python certified, it's going to be helpful. If you are going to be Microsoft certified, if it's going to be helpful. Mm, sir, currently I have installed uh, Oracle SQL developer and connected with the Oracle. Oracle with what version? Oracle, uh, it is 19C, but... 19C. Uh, Okay. Yeah, but uh, but Express Edition is showing uh, 11G something. Okay. 11G is the different thing. 19C is the different thing. Yeah. Okay. Mm. 11G is the different thing. Installation by, and 19C is the different thing. Okay, okay, sorry. It is showing Oracle database 11.2. Yeah, so it's a, your 11G. Okay. So, uh, I have tried to uh, apply some uh, operations like, uh, let me tell you. Some, some, huh. uh, like, uh, suppose I am dropping one table drop table student then uh, I am trying to check whether it is still visible in the recycle bin or not in Oracle 11 G in Oracle 11 G we have the different concept of the recycle bin it's going to part of the sys schema in the normal user you are not going to get that okay. in the normal schema you are not going to get that but in okay. 18C or 19C, directly hmm. you can get that value over there from the recycle bin. So in Oracle, okay. 11G is altogether it's a different story for the recycle bin. Okay, so if but you have once you are going to apply the drop table table name, it will be there in the recycle bin. Yes, yes. Uh, so if you have some time, if possible, can... In this particular can session, we cannot discuss about that, no? This okay. session is slight, uh, completely different. If you have yeah. that issues, we can connect separately. Okay, no? sir. Yeah. Because I have tried with uh, sys user also, uh, I mean system and tiger. You uh, just do one thing, uh, apply yeah. this thing in Oracle 19C, that's the easy solution. 18C, 19C, install the 18C and apply this thing with the 18C, you will get the solution. Okay. 
after after tng all version should have this recycle bin option but i'm not sure why that's I'm... why i'm telling you na start with oracle yeah. 18c oracle start with oracle 19c you will get that option in oracle 11g you have some different options approach over there you need to activate that then only it's going to work otherwise it's not going to load the data in the recycle bin okay yeah okay, kiran and uh, how do you say you people join late so today what we discuss about just for your information today what we discuss about we discuss about the entire course content in our entire course content we are going to learn about all this uh sure sure thank you yeah we are going to learn about this like see basically when we are talking about the data science this course is basically it's about the data science and bi business intelligence tool when i am talking about the data science as a data science like we have the three different profile is available in the market one for the data engineer one for the data analyst and one is data scientist to be a data engineer the responsibility of the data engineer is to collect the data and how to collect the data you are going to collect the data from the sql based database you are going to collect the data from the no sql it can be from the web or it can be any source and to be a data engineer you should have the good knowledge with the python the numpy pandas sql and no sql all these things we are going to learn in our course after that the next step is data analyst to be a data analyst along with all these technologies you should be master with this power bi and tableau this is basically used for the data visualization like you prepare the data how you are going to visualize the data for that purpose we are going to use the power bi and the tableau this is the data visualization tool it's a business intelligence tool so initially we are going to learn the tableau also and we are also going to learn about the power bi and the third profile is a data scientist to be a data scientist you should have the good understanding of the ml and dl and for this particular things we have the separate course here we are just going to cover these thing two things over there because the problem is with the data scientist what you need to do number one directly you are not going to get the job of data scientist initially you are going to get the job for the data engineer for the data analyst and if you have the five or six or seven year of experience then you only you are going to get the job over the data scientist number one number two it's a kind of course that you need to put some efforts it required at least three months four months you need to give the time then only you can consider about all these course because along with this ml and dl it's required the data structure it's required the mathematics algorithm and all these things that's why we are just covering these two things if someone is looking for this also we have a separate course for that so what we are going to learn we are going to learn the python portion core and advanced in the advanced we are going to learn about the database connectivity and everything before the database connectivity you are going to learn about the sql the select join set sub queries procedure package we are also going to learn about the no sql mongo db and all then we are going to make the database connections then we are going to learn about the numpy numpy is about how to manipulate the array then we are going to learn about the pandas pandas is all about the data frame and what about the concept you learn over there that we are going to implement all these concepts in the pandas like we are going to implement the joins in the pandas we are going to implement the set operators in the pandas the aggregation in the pandas so we are going to learn about that after that we are going to learn about the tableau and the power bi initially we are going to learn about the tableau and we are going to learn about the power bi so python is the language that we are going to learn it's about the database that we are going to learn it's about the python library numpy and pandas that we are going to learn and we are going to learn about the tableau and power bi after this we are going to learn about one particular project and that project is going to consider from the data engineer up to the data scientist up to the data analyst like we are going to prepare the data we are going to prepare the data we are going to collect the data from the different source we are going to prepare the data we are going to apply all the filtration and all and then we are going to build our data and finally we are going to represent the data in the in the power bi and tableau so this is the entire course we have after every session you people are going to get the recording and you are going to get the notes the entire duration of the course is going to be 2 months good thing about the entire course is only the saturday and sunday session we have for 2 hours but don't fix this like 2 hours it might be 2 and 1/2 hour it might be 1 and 1/2 hour 
it's all depend on the course content suppose today we are going to start with the sub queries this is the most important topic in the database we are going to learn about the sub query and we are going to make it complete in one and a half hour so i'm going to stop the session immediately because i don't want to make you bothered like i don't need to cover lot of things in single session and it's going to be overburdened for you so it might be the two months it's going to take two five session extra over there so you can consider that got my point so this was the thing that i discussed today other people are also there in the queue so tomorrow we are going to start with the first session like in this session my agenda was just to get clear about the entire road map what we are going to learn and how we are going to start with the things tomorrow we have the first session and i will share the link and that session we are going to start with the python got it yes sir yeah anyone having any questions please anyone having any questions please okay so if you have any question you can separately connect with me and we can discuss about that it's fine yeah okay thank you i will share the link and tomorrow we have the first session i am also going to share this recording with you so if you missed anything you can also go through with that recording okay thank you so much thanks everyone for joining thank you thank you sir thank you thank you, thank you.